Hi, thanks for watching Sassy Beauty 69. I apologize. I have been having some difficulty uploading or recording my videos directly from YouTube. Um, normally, I will record directly from YouTube, but I've been having some connectivity issues. Um, I thought it was an issue with Verizon FiOS. However, I am at my children's house and they have um, Time Warner still having the same is issue and they, I'm getting um, some pointers on updating my browser which I have um, and using incognito I haven't tried that yet so if you have any ideas or any suggestions in assisting me in, in with this this issue that would be greatly appreciated I prefer to um, do my videos directly through YouTube rather than use my U my video cam on my laptop and then upload. It's probably best to use my video cam on my laptop. That way, it could be saved um, in the event that you know there's lost connectivity because I recorded for 27 minutes and I lost the complete video and there was no way I could. I could you know regain that video I completely lost it so in this case I is saved in any event um, I can't recall everything I've talked about but I've been under a great deal of stress for over a month and this this stress has um, affected my health tremendously um, I <clears throat> first started off with some serious suicidal tendencies which I've talked about in my previous videos um, I'm coming forth and being self-righteous with you today because I've had a little bit of help and support by like I've mentioned I've had coping skills but I've also have gained a great deal of support although it's still a painful process it's going to be a painful process and, and it's, it's going to take some time but I have my strong moments and and you know having someone that you're you're married to that you think is one person and you later find out they're completely totally different you know that they're deceitful and you 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 want to expose them for everything that you went through you know you know behind closed doors what happened and you know you know that there are other people that know behind closed doors what happened because they witness the things that in the story that you're telling but he's in denial and denying everything it kind of hurts and until there's justice until I'm in front of a judge and I hear I'm able to tell my story I'm not able to sleep until I am satisfied and I know if the judge is going to listen to my story you know I'm, I'm having trouble sleeping until I know whether I have a leg to stand on I'm having trouble sleeping um, some people are saying to just let it go and let him just get away with what he's done to me and move forward I've moved on it's not that I haven't moved on. My thing is, is I just want it to be known that you can't come over to this country and take advantage of people who are caring and give their heart to you and wear their heart on their sleeves and take advantage of them and lead them to believe that you care about them and you have completely different motives, you know this is very very painful for me this is very very hurtful for me and God knows my heart you know I can tell my story all I want but my heart isn't invincible my there's no nothing erased from my heart God knows my heart God knows that I was truly there 100% in my marriage and in the relationship and there's no secret about it you know there's nothing fake about it but in any event 
This is causing a great deal of stress for me. It's causing my health to worsen. And I haven't had suicidal tendencies until this person's come into my life and caused so much pain. But my pain is, it's been a long time since I, my pain has been out of control where I just could not manage my pain. And I've met some some people that understand and I've met some people that don't understand. And I've also met some people just, just as, as deceitful as he is, but not as bad, if that makes any sense. But in any event, you know, it's hard for me to sleep at night. I have nightmares. It's emotionally draining. I'm constantly thinking, you know, is he going to get away with this? Is the judge going to see mercy on me? You know, you know, he's using an excuse that it just didn't work out because he's being told he's like a robot. He, you know, they're telling him just to say it didn't work out. But is the justice system going to let him use that as an excuse? That's not the truth that it didn't work out. The truth is that you wanted me, you saw the vulnerability in me, you wanted to marry me so I could help you. And for you to gain what you needed, you gained, once you gained what you needed, you abandoned me and you left me. That's what happened. Because before all of those things, when it wasn't working out, you didn't leave. You stayed there. And you stayed there until you got what you wanted. So how can you use that it did not work out? <clears throat> you could have left many a times. You know? And that's the way I feel. You could have left many a times and said it, it didn't work out. You stayed until it was convenient for you and you gained what you wanted from me. So for you to tell me now that things didn't work out and you're sorry... Don't, don't try to use that on me. Somebody's telling you to, to say that. And I know they're telling you to say that because they told me the same thing when I called. That's not fair to me. And that's not the answer. You and I both know that you married me to gain citizenship into this, com con this country. You took advantage. You knew that when you married me under oath at our interview, you, you admittedly said, that you knew that I was disabled and you accepted me for who I am. Anyhow, it's just been very painful for someone to take advantage. And there's a lot more to this story. And, you know, when you're going through a legal process, you're not supposed to talk too much. So I'm not going to talk more into detail. I just want to expose this person for who they are, you know. I'm not going to slander them because I'm not using his name, but I just want to expose them. And for those of you, just be careful. If someone that is trying to contact you out of an, out of a con another country and is telling you that they want to marry you and that, that, that they love you, I would second guess their intentions and I wouldn't do it because nine times out of ten, you're being used. You're getting used. But back to the fact that I, I'm getting injections. Like, as you can tell, I'm at where I'm sitting, I'm very uncomfortable, very inflamed. And the injections don't work. I am scheduled for epidural nerve block. No, sorry, 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 sorry. A nerve brain fog. A nerve test. On the 25th, and I'm terrified. I wish there's some way I could get out of it. If there was some other test that they could, they could do to find out if there's nerve damage, and if anyone is is aware of any tests other than these needles being stuck in me, where they can discover if there's any nerve tests, please comment and let me know because the nerve test. Every time I go for a nerve test, it causes so much inflammation in my body and I'm and I'm in so much pain that it takes a couple days before I can get back 
to normal. I'm in bed for a couple of days and it just, it just, it, te it tears me down. This is a tough life for us. It's not easy. You know, it, it's just not easy at all whatsoever. You know, you lose your friends, you lose your family, you lose your loved ones, you lose yourself. You want to kill yourself. And no one gets this disease. No one. I don't even think we get this disease. We don't even understand ourselves. And as much as we we try and as strong as we we try to be and, and we, we come on here and we journalize our lives and we open ourselves up to the world, we go to bed alone. We go to bed lonely. And I don't think that we feel satisfied or self-sufficient within ourselves. It's just a very complicated life, a very lonely life. And I just don't know what to tell you. I have no solutions for you. All I can do is be there for you, ask for your support, and be supportive with you. And you can follow me on Twitter. It's the same name, Sassy Beauty 69 The link is in my subscription on my channel. And let's just support each other. I take all tips. I try the EFT exercises and um because I suffer from panic attacks, anxiety attacks, which anxiety attacks are different from panic attacks, and mine's are pretty chronic. I tried it and I did the exercises twice. I went into anxiety attack. So I guess it's going to take a little bit of going through those EFT exercises before they actually work for me. Um, I was in tears the first time, you know, I did it. I like the words. The words that you say to yourself is very, very helpful. But um, the first time I did it, I was, she said, what number are you? And I think I felt like I was at a 16. So I liked the fact that she went through it again. And the second time we went through it, I was pouring in tears. I was like having a, an anxiety attack. I was feeling extremely anxious, but I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna keep trying because I think that that was the first time that I tried it. So it's gonna take a little time for that to, to work for me, I, I'm assuming. So I'm not gonna give up on that. So thank you for sharing um, the EFT. I'm, I'm, not going to give up on that. I'm going to try and attempt that again. Acupuncture doesn't work for me. Deep tissue massages work. Um, so if anyone has some suggestions for that, you know, I'm open to that because they do work for me, although it's a temporary, you know, release. I love scented candles. They relax me before I go to bed. So anyone have some suggestions on scents that can help, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, I like, you know, to look good, make myself feel good, you know, that helps me. I embrace myself with my family. That's part of my coping skills. So any suggestions, you know, please, I beg you, subscribe and comment and give your input. I'm open to anything. I'm willing to try anything. I'm going to try out the marijuana um, medicine once that is legal here in New York. I'm willing to try anything as long as it's not going to affect me, you know, a healthy, um, healthy way of trying, not something that's toxic. So I thank you for watching. I'm Sassy Beauty 69 I love you. Please subscribe. Please leave your comments. Please follow me. And let's support each other. And if you have any questions, please ask. I'm an open book. You want to give leave a Victoria a video tutorial, a song, dedication. I don't care what it is, as long as it's positive, enlightening. I will accept it all. Prayers, recipes. I don't care, as long as it's positive and enlightening. I will accept it all. Thanks again for watching. I love you and I appreciate you all. Sassy69, 
It is Sunday, March 8th. God bless and thanks for watching.